Another Sunday morning. Another early morning Morrison's Hall. Stoke my hair. Uh, gorgeous morning this morning. Zero outside. Really cold. But blue sky, sun. Look at this glorious photograph I took. Right, so we got some stuff in Morrison's and holding out for the veg has paid off as it always does. Let's start with um, organic. I never buy organic. It's stupidly overpriced for what it is because uh, I don't even believe it's really organic. Not my idea of organic anyway. However, this is a cauliflower. It was £1.79, now 54p. It's a fair size. That will last a while. Um, Savers fine beans, green beans. These were 89, now 66. I bought two. They're a little bit more than I would normally pay, but good vegetables. Carrots. I have um, regular Morrison's carrots. These were 65p down to 48. They were last ages. What else? Uh, oh, we got some fruit. Didn't we do well? We have wonky apples. These were 95, now 28p. And I bought two. We don't get a whole lot of fresh fruit in this house. Um, and then we have some Savers crisps. Were 85p, down 43. There is damage to the packet, so it may be that they're not all in there. But 43p, there's at least five or six packets of crisp in there. It's still cheaper. That'll be a nice little snack. And that's the lot. Now, let me try and find the receipt for that. Uh, this came to £3.33. There's enough veg there to last me over a week. And the apples will definitely last over a week. So that's a pretty good deal. I reckon that'll do. That's not bad for a Sunday morning. Um, that's it really. Uh, what else am I doing today? Packaging up more vintage. We're selling okay on there. And uh, just enjoying the day. I'm going to make a nice um, casserole for lunch. It's one that I've had in the freezer. One of my batch dishes that I've had in the freezer for a while and for the days where I just can't be bothered to cook they're ideal take them out of the freezer into a saucepan 10 minutes later it's done perfect good morning it's Monday morning half past nine it is minus one outside the weather suggests that snow arrives tomorrow and then on Tuesday night or Wednesday night it's going to be minus four allegedly but the snow was supposed to start tonight and now it's not so it may not happen i'm not going to worry about it it's one day of snow anyway this morning i have packed up three vintage sails and now i'm off to post them i like doing these first thing in the morning when i get up um it gets me moving first thing and I feel productive. <laughs> Makes me feel like I've done something useful. The sales are going really well, actually. Um, gosh, the ice, the ice outside. And it's a bit breezy, so there's a horrible wind chill factor to go with it. Right, so I'm going to head off, get my jobs done. I have a big vlog to record later because it's my one month of monetization on YouTube and I want to do a whole post about what's happened so far because it's interesting and why not so I'm going to head off now Hit into the cold so meant to add I'm wearing the trousers I took up at the weekend and they fit just fine now. So that's another few more years of use I can get out of them. I love these trousers. If I can get them a couple of pairs, maybe in slightly different colours, that would be amazing. But 
that, given that I've had them for probably 15 years. Ooh, sunshine. I'm not sure if I can get them. They've looked on vintage, but it's hard to gauge fabrics and stuff. I need to see clothes like that up front. Coats are different. The coat I'm wearing now, which is my lovely puffer for proper winter, I bought on eBay a couple of years ago. It cost me nine quid. I don't think it had been worn. The belt was still in the wrapper. Oh man, so cold. It's proper frosty on the grass in the park here. But it's crisp and dry. As you can tell, it's sunny, blue sky. Feels good. So I've dropped off my first two parcels at the in post lockers. And now I'm walking down to one of the two news agents who accept parcels. There's one on one side of the road that does yodel, and on the other side they do every. And I'm going off to the every one. The every, the every postal, uh, the every news agents. And when I get back, I am going to warm up, obviously, get my notes, and do this post about monetization, which I think I'm going to have to record in bits and then stitch together. I have some screenshots to show. And I just know when I talk about this, I'm going to miss some stuff off. So I'll do my best. But as you know, I am not an expert. Yes, I am hooded and staying warm. It's absolutely freezing this afternoon. Um, but by wearing this I am still functional. So, another plant experiment. I am <laughs> going to attempt to repot my cactus. Now I've owned this cactus for about five years. And I'm just going to, you can probably see it there. I'm the owner of a globe cactus which has grown a lot since I've owned it and every year it flowers I get seven without fail beautiful pale yellow flowers every year so I think it's happy but it needs repotting and got to work out how to get it out of here first. I've got it set in its own pot inside here. Uh, I'm going to repot it into this bigger pot. Um, I'm going to get stabbed. So I might have to use my oven gloves. I never thought about that. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to tip it up. So I'm going to drop the camera down so that you can actually see what I'm doing. Hopefully, anyway. So my dad had bought a load of cactus soil um, for his own cacti. So my dad has cacti as well, but he's used that what he wants and has hardly used a thing. So I'm going to just try and tip this out without upsetting it too much. So it's out of that pot. My thinking is that because it's very dry, that it's not going to be difficult to get out of this pot. So all I'm going to do is tip it up 
and just squeeze it out. There you go. I'm going to stand it upright for a moment. Look at the mess. And now I'm going to get out of soil. Just two of these. Okay. This is quite a generous pot, but it's the next size up that I have. I don't have anything else. Unfortunately, I think that would probably do. So now I need to lift and drop. And now I just need to fill in the gaps, which shouldn't actually be that difficult. There isn't really any overhang. I don't know when is actually the best time of year to do this kind of work. I would say personally that winter is a good time to repot indoor plant because particularly when temperatures are like mine at home it's still very cold and cacti you're not supposed to water them in winter. So, let's finish that up. Second one. I think we might need to just a funny angle. Yeah. Ow. Tip your foot like that and fill in. There is no doubt that gardening indoors is just really fiddly. Always ends up making a mess. I'm just going to play around with this because I cannot get anywhere near this plant. Those spines are absolutely vicious. And are going to hurt. Let's tap some of this down. I think that looks pretty good actually. You straight? not going to water it. You're not supposed to water them in winter. Well that didn't take long did it? The rest of this. One more time. Now, somewhere I have a drip tray. This little chap can go back on its favourite windowsill. And I'm going to get the hoover out and just deal with this. Because I made a right old mess of that. <sighs> on days like today when it's really cold and you want to keep busy because you need to stay productive because we all 
like to feel like we're still productive but it's hard to get stuck into anything when that's that cold it's too distracting so I'll have little tasks like that to do and then I'll just kind of eat my way through all the little tasks that need doing I've done some video editing today I've uploaded some new stuff at the moment I'm doing an update on my power director software that takes forever because I'm only running on 4G and the updates are big so while that's doing that I can go off and do something else uh, that's it really it's enough work for a Monday isn't it I did all my uh, all my uploading for my monetization video which I hope makes sense I'm sure there will be questions. It's hard to m make videos like that and get them like really right first time. It's just I'm not a professional, as you can probably tell. Uh, right, so that's that done. Another task done for Monday. Tuesday morning and the snow has arrived overnight quite a lot actually and it's still snowing at the moment uh, I was watching a, a van life actually it wasn't a van life vlog I was watching a, a, a live a recording of a live stream uh, from a couple of days ago that is out in Canada and they were currently in the middle of an extra cold spell and it was minus 50 and someone had put in the chat that they were in North Dakota and it was minus 70. I can't even imagine the concept of that. It's uh, zero here at the moment. It dipped to minus two last night. <laughs> but I've not been cold. I've, I've mastered the plan for, for keeping warm now. I have a good routine going and it's, it, it, it's fine. Um, I was watching a, another, a, which was a van life vlog, and they're currently doing a six month tour of Australia. And they're in the middle of a heat wave, and it's 47 out there. It's like the two extremes, just my, my poor brain cannot possibly fathom either. I remember a couple of years ago when we had the heat wave, and it got to 43 here. And that was unbearable, because we're just not used to it. And our houses aren't built for it but anyway so the snow is here um, I'm thinking about going out and doing a little walk later and taking you along with me so you can see the snow but you know what snow looks like right do you need any more <sighs> well I did end up going out Tuesday because it's clean evening and that means going to Morrison's as well. We had a good one. So. Loads in Morrison's today. None of it healthy, I'm afraid. A lot of it for the freezer. So today I spent £5.32. And I shall put up at the end how much I saved. So, first thing, a sandwich was £2.60, now 65p. Uh, smoked salmon and cream cheese. Now, because tomorrow I will be out cleaning between um, 11 and 2, I am... I won't be having lunch, so maybe I'll have that. Loads of sausages. These were 160, now 40p for eight. They're six sausages, pork sausages. I got three of those. Those will go in the freezer. There's loads there. That will last ages. Um, a pack of pie. It is vegan, but you know you can't have everything. Was 199, now 50p. So that will go in the freezer as well. We also have a Pucker Jumbo Sausage Roll, which was 129 and is now 33p. 
Savers macaroni cheese. Now, I wonder if this is going to be as good as the Sainsbury's one I've tried. This was £2.20 and is now 55p. So that can go in the freezer. Uh, wholemeal pitters were 75p, now 19p. You get six in a pack there. They're going to go in the freezer as well. Mr. Kipling Bramley apple and black currant pies. Don't normally buy this sort of thing, but why not? Were two pounds, now 50p. And Baker's hot cross buns. So they're the ones off the baker counter. Were 85p, now 22p. Bought two of those. Those are going to go in the freezer as well. And one of my favourite things, which rarely comes up, are the New York bagels. I love these, but they're so expensive. £1.89, now 48p each. And I've got two of those. And I'll probably keep one, out, one in the freezer. I suspect I might be a little bit short of freezer space. So I'm going to have to rejiggle things around a little bit. So that's a big shop. That's a big unhealthy shop. Not happy about that. But... Um, most of that will be in the freezer and will probably last me well until next month, um, probably even longer, because I tend to just occasionally pick at these things rather than just eat the lot. So that's um, that's another Morrison's haul done. And I think that's good to go. Now I'm going to get changed. It's very cold again. The heating is now on. And I'm going to get myself ready because at 8 o'clock... Winter watch starts, and I love the watches. Really, uh, really, really enjoy those. So I'm really looking forward to uh, seeing the gang back together and seeing what's going on with the animal life. So um, I hope you'll be watching as well. Enjoy it, and um, I'll catch up with you soon.